Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezac at CM Trading. Today is July 25th, 2022. And today is Monday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, gold surges back to life. But first, no major economic events scheduled for today. But lots of events happening this week, including an interest rate decision on the United States and major corporate earning reports coming out. Now, looking first at the Forex symbols, the major pairs consolidate at resistance -ish level. Looking at the indices, the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq slightly retrace going into this week's session. Looking at commodities, gold surges, as we mentioned, and oil trading on support at $93 a barrel. Looking at the stocks, the tech stocks loses momentum on the upside and Facebook actually breaking down. And lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin retraces as well. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go. We're looking at the Euro USD. You can see quite clearly in a four hour chart, we've consolidated at this top range. Now to say that we are completely sold off here, we're not completely sold off here. We're about 150 pips away from our highs here, 60 to 50 pips as this has retraced somewhat, but it is trading at par. What I mean, it's trading between the moving averages and that is coming to consolidate right there. And you can see that we're lessening with our volume as we found some footing right here looking at the gbp usd same story and the aussie usd also the same story so we're really trading you know sideways right now until this major news event comes out of the united states the fomc on wednesday evening so that's something to consider going into this week's session now jumping into commodities first looking at gold look at that 1724 we actually i mean Look at the look at the levels. I mean, this is exactly trading between these two levels. 1739 on the upside, 1690-ish level, 1680-ish level on the downside. You could see that massive surge that we had going in from last week and just surging into the end of the week and then, and then trickling back down to 1724. Somewhere 50% is that retracement level really okay so 1724 is still overbought here it should retrace somewhere to the 1713 1710 ish level which gives us another 10 to 15 points on the downside so just keep that at bay as this is still unfolding now looking at crude oil slowly ta tapering off if we look at a daily chart you could see that we're at the bottom of that range and it looks like we're breaking it okay on a daily we broke the 200 day moving average and closed below it so that's a major move for oil so that possibly could mean that we could see further pressure on the downside and we could see itself maybe going back to the 80 ish level 77 ish level if it does pick momentum on the downside now looking at the u.s markets first the dow jones hitting 32,011.13, okay 32,100 ish level and then now we're tracing to 31,800 ish level um, after hitting 32,000. Now, this is a major retracement for the Dow Jones. I mean, if we are a year to date, I mean, this was the biggest surge that we got from 29,000 up to 32,000. That's a 3,000 point surge after we've lost about 7,000 points for the year. So we're almost at 50%. This is really the sweet spot. That's 50% is really where we retrace, even though it doesn't look like that at the graph, but that's exactly where we are. So this is the point where we really have to test ourselves to see if it's gonna go lower. Now looking at the NASDAQ, also trading here at 12,400 after this nice surge, didn't break above that 12,800. But again, this is also down from its high of 16,700 down to 12,400. That's a major, major sell-off for the year. So this bounce could be just a death cap bounce where we test our lows once again going into the end of August. So keep that at bay as this is still unfolding. Now looking at the individual stocks, Apple retracing here at the top of the range, 155. Let's jump to Microsoft because that was the go-to as well. Selling off here from 264 down to 259. This has been selling off, which is a little bit disconcerting because Microsoft was a real big leader that led us higher into the summer of last year. Now, looking at Facebook, you see that big gap down. Look at that big gap down and sell off down to 168 from 184. Someone knows something about something here, and that's the type of situation and environment that we're in. So I do 
anticipate that we're going to have further pressure on the downside. Now, all these major companies are coming out with corporate earnings for the quarter, the second to last quarter of the of the year, really 50% into the year, uh, going into September, and then December we have our last quarter. So just be aware of that. Now, lastly, looking at Bitcoin, we're just retracing here from 23,800 down to 21,000. It's a minor support ish here level here. Real the support level is at 2,000, so just keep that at bay as well. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.